Hey everyone, this is Damika. Welcome. This channel is all about healing, manifesting, and positivity. Today, I am showing you my craft room. And it's the reason why I'm showing it to you. I know it's a little messy, it's a little unorganized, but that's okay. I'm showing you my craft room because this is where I keep my money altar. I'm often asked where to put altars, and especially with the money altar, what to put on this particular altar. So this video is going to sum up, sum up some of the things that I place on my altar, some things that you can purchase to place on your altar. And then I'm also going to show you some new items that I got. And I am going to clean up my altar a little bit. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like after everything has finished. And I want you to stay tuned to the end of the video because I also have some other things that I want to discuss with you as far as how much money do you think you really need? All right, let's begin. All right, so the first thing that I want to show you guys that you can actually place on your altar is the manifestation checks. This is a new product that I have on my site and you can get, um, it's actually nine that comes in it. And what I love about how I did it, I made the checks where you can resonate with different frequencies with it. So say for instance, this is 444. And if you know anything about numbers, you know that four is the number of stability. That is the reason, that's the energy that I wanna resonate with on my altar, I wanna make sure that I am always stable. Uh, everything is always gonna be, you know, in order. And that's just the energy that I wanna work with today. Um, I also have the energy of 111. A lot of people, when they see that number, they usually uh, wanna connect with their ancestors. It's a, it's a number that basically it's telling you that the ancestors or you know the spiritual side is trying to connect with you and then I also have the checks numbered 888 and that 8 is the infinity sign so that's just the abundance just keep coming keep going Ooh, sorry so anyway uh, I could speak more about that later I can actually do a video on the different um, numbers that we see a lot, 11, 11, you know, just, just all the different numbers. Now, as you can see with the checks, I did try to put all those different good money numbers inside of it. This check is actually going to be on my altar until I hit this number. And once I hit it, I can either write myself out another check or you know whatever the case may be but i will always have my manifestation checks on deck now this is a new product that i have on the site as well it is the gold dollar 100 bills this is another item that i would suggest that you place on your altar also the prosperity candle i will be burning this and if you guys would like a link to any of these things, I will have them in the description below. But this is actually a kit that you get. And I don't necessarily need to write out uh, what I would like to manifest because I have my manifestation check. The kit comes with paper. It comes with parchment paper that you will write, you know, whatever your desires are. So with that being said, I don't need it for this because I have my manifestation check. A new item that I will be adding to my altar is this citrine money tree. Now, let me just say that if you are not familiar with crystals, if you don't really know how to work with them, you don't know how to cleanse and activate them, I would suggest you not place crystals on your altar. Matter of fact, a guy by the name of Dr. Mitchell Gibson or Master Gibson, he suggested it. That's because I didn't even realize that your crystals could be taking the actual energy that you are trying to obtain. So if you don't know how to work with, work with crystals, then 
I would not place them on your altar. But because I am the crystal queen, yes, I will be adding this citrine money tree to my altar. Now, this next little gem that I have is this. Now, I am an Aries, so the ram is my sign. However, this looks like it's, it belongs to the Capricorn, but this is going to be for me. This is a ram, and it signifies Aries. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is. But I like the fact that it has the Asian coin on it and, you know, coins going up along it. So this is another item that I will be placing or a new item that I will be placing on my altar. So you just want to put anything that resonates with the frequency of money, of prosperity, of success. You want to put those type of things on your altar. Like for uh, when I show you, I actually have the Jade Emperor on my altar. I have uh, a money bowl. With a, I call him my money monk. <laughs> I have him on my altar with money inside of it, real money. So I have like fictitious money and then I also have real money, different coins and stuff like that. So you really can put a lot of different things on your altar. Now what I would suggest as far as having the basic needs, you need water on your altar. You need the, the really the four elements so water earth air and fire so yeah you would need all those so this is going to be my fire my incense is going to be my air uh, I have a elephant an elephant is another one of those money animals I have a elephant um, little little container that I put my water in and then for my earth, it is my crystals. Now, like I said, if you're not familiar with crystals, you don't know how to activate them and work them, then I will use some type of herb, such as bay leaves or, you know, any type of, of, of plant that is known for bringing in or is known for having the frequency of prosperity. So now that we are done, I am going to, well, now that I'm done with that, I am going to cleanse off my items. I'm going to first start off by taking off this tag. And if I have any barcodes or anything, I'm going to be sure to remove those. I'm going to give it a good cleanse. Then you can cleanse it with something as simple as Florida water. You can cleanse it with that. And then I'm going to sage it and then I will be placing it onto my altar. So after I finish setting that all up, I will show you guys. The only reason why I'm not gonna show you that part is because it's a lot of things that I find now to be sacred and they shouldn't be done on camera. That's why you guys don't see me doing a lot of root work videos or root work type videos is because certain stuff is just not made for the camera and um, I, I just I just choose not to do that anymore not to that extent so for those that are wondering because I had a, a previous client say something about she didn't think I was a root worker anymore that is so not true if I don't do nothing else I'm gonna practice them roots baby all right so let me do what I said I'm gonna do which is clean this stuff up and then I will turn the camera around okay so I now have everything placed on to the altar and it looks amazing the lighting isn't so good because it's dark and I'm trying to compensate with this bright light that's over flaring everything but here it is so some other things that I have in here I have this journal this money log journal that I keep in here as you can see I have some Josh paper, which is also known as ancestor money right here. I have again, an elephant wallet, elephant. I have an elephant wallet back here that I keep and sometimes I will place um, money in it. And then I have, as you can see, some old Chinese coins. I have some real shredded money here. I have some more Josh paper. I have the check that I wrote. 
And then in the back, I have a peaceful Buddha looking statue along with the Jade Emperor. I have Ganesh, again, the elephant. I have the elephant, if you can see it, you probably can't, but it has water inside of it. And then I have another picture back there with Ganesh and some more, I can't even see, some more um, deities on it. And then this is my money monk. Say hello. Yes, he be chilling, holding all the coins. Yes, it's real money in there. It's checks, it's coins, it's dollar bills. It's a lot of stuff in there. I have a couple cards over here, some gratitude cards. So I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And then there is my beautiful money tree. And this is my, I, I'm going to tell you guys, one day I said to myself, because I am a thrift shopper and I wanted something to go on my altar, some type of Jade Emperor statue. And I just spoke it. I said, you know, one day I'm going to come in here, which was goodwill. I said, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find me something. And lo and behold, look what happened. I found this beautiful, beautiful beautiful it sounds like money don't it all right so the last thing is my incense and my bill that i keep directly over the sounds yes so that is it that is my money altar now i do briefly want to speak with you about the latest blog that i posted and it has to do with money I ask in the blog, how much money is enough? Because we make these altars and we never, or for the most part, we don't have like a set amount to ask for. Like I, people will always ask me, well, how much should I say? How much? Okay, well, it's a lot of factors that go into that. How much is enough? How much do you need? You got to look at things like, okay, what? how old are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, how old are you right now? Are you in your 20s or are you in your 60s? That would determine how much money you will need. Are you taking care of someone? Do you have children if something was to happen? Like, you know, do you have enough money? Or how much money would you need to take care of you and the kids? Or you and your husband or wife? Uh, is factors such as when you get ready to retire, how much you think you're going to need to 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 live off of? How many years you think you will have until you pass away. It's a lot of different questions that need to be asked when you are trying to figure out how much money is enough. I will have a link in the description below to that blog because these are some questions we need to ask. Like the 444,000 that I'm asking for this year, not for a lifetime, that's only for this year. That is a number that I have already calculated as far as my needs for this year. So I implore you to look into your needs versus your wants, and that will help you to determine how much money is going to be enough for you. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please send them to me. You can comment below or you can send me a text message at 678-701-7757. You can go over to healthylivingjourney.com and schedule either a consultation or a reading because I know this is a new year. A lot of you probably want a new job, a new stream of income. You want to start a business, business and you have questions concerning that. And I am here to answer your questions. So until the next video, oh, don't forget to subscribe. I am so proud of myself. Last week, I asked you guys to just quit watching and subscribe. And I want to say I probably gained about almost 15 subscribers last week. So I was very happy, proud of that. So if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe and the like button if you found this video useful. 
All right, guys. Until next time, peace.